What's up everybody? I have a 2023 Toyota 4Runner and the model that I have did not come with remote start. I know I think the Limiteds, they come with remote start and I think maybe one of the other ones, I can't remember which one, but mine doesn't. So I live in a area that gets cold. So sometimes you want to start your car, let it warm up, defrost it, whatever. And I was trying to think of a way around that, and I think I figured it out. So I will show you what I do in order to warm up my vehicle when it's cold out. Or, I guess if you live in a warm climate, you can also use it to turn your AC on so you can get into a comfortable car when it's hot out. So I will show you what I did. My 4Runner came with a key fob, so you obviously are going to need your key fob to start your vehicle, but... Come out to your vehicle, get inside of it, start it. Once it is started, you can go up here. It's going to be nighttime when this is going on, so there's little lights in each of these, and there's a light right here on the lock. So you'll hit the lock, you'll go down here to the manual lock and unlock, you're going to unlock it, you're going to get out, you're going to shut the door, you're going to take your key fob, take the key out, Go over to your door, take this side right here, lock the door, and there you go. So now the vehicle will be locked while it's running. And when you want to get back in it, take your key, twist it the other way, and it's unlocked. I know this is not actual remote start, but it is a small workaround for remote start and it will allow your vehicle to be running and have all of the doors locked while you are waiting for it to warm up or cool off, depending on where you live. So I thought that would be of interest to some people because I didn't know that for quite a while. So I wanted to bring it to everyone's attention who might be interested. The only thing about it is the forerunners that actually come with remote start if you open the door while they are running I am pretty sure the engine shuts off whereas this will not if somebody were to get in your car if they maybe if they broke the window or something to get in it would not shut off the vehicle would stay on and then they would have your car but this is a workaround for it and I thought it might be useful to anyone with a forerunner that does not have remote start. 